Today we had a session on the pancreatic pathology of type 1 diabetes and the title of the presentation was Is NPOD Still Cutting Edge? The presentation started with an overview of the NPOD program. It's a um, biorepository for human type 1 diabetes of the pancreas from organ donors. And so the audience was able to see what the program is actually about. And then it went into some of the key features that are involved in the program of not only the biobank, but getting researchers into collaborative working groups that are really trying to facilitate and accelerate the rate of findings for type 1 diabetes. Well, I was excited to hear about the progress the NPOD group has made and how much tissue is available, how collaborative they've been, how they're subsectioned, and how in the future this is really going to give us the answers that we need. The, the interesting thing was I really had no knowledge about the efforts at collecting um, pancreatic uh, organs and pancreatic cells um, uh, that was sponsored by the JDRF. And I think that that was really is a very important effort. Th today's session really emphasized the heterogeneity of the human pancreas. And a lot of what has been done to date has been based on animal models that really don't replicate what's going on in people. Now the animal models were needed because we can't really access the human pancreas in a living subject. That's the, one of the big difficulties of studying type 1 in people. But through this biobank and other initiatives, we're learning so much more. And I think there's so much more hope for people with type 1 diabetes. We know that the beta cells survive many years, even 10 years or longer. And that the inflammation that's going on is um, patchy and that we need to look at ways to support the beta cells in the face of that inflammation and perhaps even regenerate the own, their own beta cells. It was just very uh, thrilling to be the uh, chair and to see so many people interested in this topic.